What's up guys? Today, which is Batman Day, uh, I'm taking a look at my newest custom figure and this is based on um, Batman Noel, uh, the wonderful graphic novel by Lee Bermejo, one of my favorite artists. And uh, I finished this guy up just in time for the 75th anniversary. How fortuitous. Awesome, I know. Uh, totally unplanned, but um, I'll make it seem like it and hopefully I can release this just in time. Anyway, this was a commissioned piece, and uh, as much as I love this design of Batman, it is my favorite. Uh, Bermijo's Batman, his bat suit, his uh, his Gotham, his whole world—it's uh, it's my like ideal. Um, not so much for his uh, his like rogues gallery. Like I don't really care for the Joker that he does um, that design, but whatever. I love this Batman to death. And um, it took me forever to just, I, I couldn't bring myself to do it in figure form because I was, there was a trepidation, like how am I going to handle certain things. Um, so it took a commission from a repeat customer to get me up off my ass to do it. And uh, he turned out great. And I don't know what I was worrying about. And I can't wait to make one for myself. But um, let's take a closer look at this guy. Okay, some of the details I went into this guy, um, quite a bit, let's take a look at those. First of all, he was made from a Captain America from the Winter Soldier uh, Marvel Infinite line. I think they rebranded it like Marvel Infinite or something like that. Um, I really like that new body. And I've been using the Marvel Legends Bucky Captain America as my go-to just because it's a good build, um, something I can build off of, and has nice 90 degree hips and all the articulation I want. Uh, and the new Captain America delivered all those things, uh, was just a bit beefier in the torso. His arms were really skinny, so I had to beef up his arms as well because this Batman's a beast uh, in the graphic novel. So, let's take a look at... Um, some of the bat suit design and this is really why I love this Batman uh, I feel like some of the comic book artists if they're comic booky I don't know how else to describe it they'll have like an illustrative style um, the the bat suit details will be like lines or paneling or something but when there's a uh, I don't want to say real artist but um, Lee Bermejo has like a painterly uh, photorealistic look to the work he does that way there's always more detail and that's what I um, prefer especially with comic book characters uh, and I tried to capture that tried to capture every detail and um, just had a bunch of reference material for the bat suit so much paneling and uh, all of that stuff going on in his armor um, the belt was really fun to sculpt I sculpted um, well, everything here is actually sculpted over the figure, but the belt, I individually sculpted all these pouches, and uh, his bat suit is known for these, like, these, um, like, clips that come out and are kind of hanging on the leather. So I just kind of, I took some wire and bent it, and I glued it to leather strips to come down, because that's really a signature of uh, the way he does his, like, utility belt, and I really like that. Um, the rest, yeah, the rest was just a bunch of sculpting all over the place. And um, it's such an iconic look for me personally, his bat suit. I knew I had to get like every square inch of detail um, going on. And the only part that isn't that I, like I didn't make from scratch were these uh, um, the spikes on his gauntlets. I actually took them from another Batman figure and just kind of spliced those on because it'd be easier and more durable since they're like a rubbery plastic. <laughs> All right, so from the chest emblem up is probably the most recognizable stuff and um, what I did for this was I laid down some cardboard in like kind of a rough overlay he has this uh, like upper torso armor going on and it goes around the back like that and then his cape is underneath it and uh, one of my friends one of the gripes he has with this suit is that that shoulder piece, and he says it looks kind of Power Rangers-ish, and I agree, um, but I love it. So what I did was I put that layer down first, 
right here. Um, and then I sculpted the bat symbol. Of course, after the whole suit was sculpted, I had to do all this. And then I filled in all of that in the neck and everything, just to make it have all that designs that you need, like built up the traps and everything. And uh, he actually comes with three heads. Two um, in the Noel style, and then one of my own design that the customizer, or the customer, excuse me, uh, specified. All right, let's take a look at the alternate heads. First up is really just the basic neutral, um, you know, tight-lipped, I'm Batman, uh, how you doing, look. And um, the biggest challenge was sculpting the cowl because the way Bermijo draws it with these extra paneling lines and uh, leaving space open for the eyes, which are skin toned around and you can see it it's something i really like i like it when you can see um batman's eyes uh skin maybe not but um i like it that you can tell he's human and they're not just white so there was this one and uh the first one i made was this one actually uh the traditional bermijo loves to draw him with his mouth open like this and it's, it kind of reminds me of the Hot Toys. Um, if you're familiar with any of the Hot Toys Batman figures, they have come with interchangeable mouthpieces. And some of them are really like scene specific. And if he's just standing there and you pop one in, it kind of, it's like, uh, how you doing? You know? So he really has to be crouched down and kind of like, it's, it's gotta be a specific pose for this one. Um, but I actually did this one first. Um, using a head cast that I already had, sculpted the cowl, uh, sculpted the teeth, actually the two rows of teeth and gums and everything, and then I sculpted all the flesh around it so that it would make sense um, when you look in there. So what I did was uh, I sculpted this one first, that one was good to go, and then I made an alternate, kind of a play on that one with my own design. Longer ears, more of a classic Batman head, uh, different mouth from the bottom down, and of course the white eyes. Um, different, but still able to match like with this bat suit. Um, and you know, just, and I, uh, Bermejo draws him with the sh really short ears, which is fine for me. But um, I was like, since I'm gonna do an alternate head, I might as well just make it, you know, as different as I can, more classic Batman. <laughs> Uh, and then what I did was I made a cast, a mold and cast of that first one with the grimacing mouth. And uh, this was the third one I made so that I wouldn't have to re-sculpt the cowl and like the nose and everything again. All I did was I dremeled out um, like the open mouth with the teeth, uh, kept the chin, and then I just, I just put in that closed mouth there and that one turned out pretty good. That way it's obviously, um, you know, the same. Same cow, different expression. So these turned out really nice, and uh, I was really happy to see this in like a three-dimensional representation because I love this um, like bad cow. It looks awesome. All right, let's run through the articulation really quick, and I can show off the cape as well, which is wired. So basic Marvel Legends stuff. I did keep the ab crunch because this Batman likes to be hunched over and uh, or like jumping or pouncing on people and that's usually how you see him. Fists balled up, especially with his head. Uh, that way it doesn't look awkward if he's just standing still like he's yelling or doing something. Okay, uh, so from the top down, uh, swivel, ball joint head, ab crunch, ab swivel, the arms only go up maybe 90 degrees. That's about it because of the shoulder armor right here. Um, he has his double jointed elbows still. And then these hands are from, uh, I forgot what Marvel Legends figure they're from, but these fists. So they go, they spin. Um, those wonderful 90 degree knees, double jointed, or 90 degree hips, I'm sorry. Double jointed knees. Uh, I took out the ankle swivel. I don't really like that, that boot top swivel, because a lot of characters, 
usually have stuff going on right here and it's not just a clean cut so I figure you know if he's got a swivel up here it doesn't really matter especially with um, ankle rockers so those are still there so you can get in some pretty nice poses as for the cape I used a it's not pleather uh, I couldn't find a pleather or leather th thin enough to work at this scale so uh, and I got lucky and I found some scrap like microfiber material which has that really nice finish um, and worked perfectly actually so I don't know the name of it it was in a scrap pile at a fabric store and I got really lucky I found it and then I just uh, I used a really thin gauge wire and then I just glued the seam I, f I folded it over and glued it uh, and then it's I drilled some holes up here and it is attached permanently so, and then everything sculpted over so what I did was uh, I would make sure to move it maybe like down here. This is a this is a good pivot point, like right at the pectoral muscle. And um, Bermijo's capes are really like the way he draws the cape is really like geometric and angular. And of course, the wire was the best way to do it. So he can really get some expressive poses. The only thing about wired capes is uh, because you usually have to attach them like wherever they would be. Um, this Batman has them like right at the tip of the bat emblem right there so it can look and just because how much fabric you need especially for it to be splayed out like that with the, the scalloped edges sometimes it'll look nice um, just draped you kind of have to fold it and kind of fudge with it like but I mean the whole point of wiring is so that it's expressive so you have options um, and I would take something like this over a static, like just laying over the shoulders, flat cape. But uh, at this scale, it's like, it's going to be tough to do both with any material. Alright guys, there he is. A uh, custom Batman Noel figure, for lack of a better title, or a Lee Bermejo style Batman. And uh, I put him a little fist up. The dupes are up, like on the cover of the graphic novel there. As much as I love that graphic novel and this Batman's design, I'm not sure what he's supposed to be doing on that cover. It looks hilarious every time I see it. Um, but it's cool that he can duplicate the pose. Uh, this figure should be able to because he's uh, his little point. So uh, thanks for checking out. Also, um, thanks a lot for all the subscriptions and stuff. That really caught me off guard because I don't maintain my YouTube channel as much as I should. Uh, and hopefully I'll be able to start filming some more tutorials and... Uh, a little making up video um, pretty soon as soon as I start as soon as I um, have something that I'm gonna start on and not like have going on at the moment uh, I'll try and get footage of everything to make a nice little uh, making of time-lapse uh, but I, I'll still be doing these reviews uh, churning these out as long as I um, am finishing the custom figures so thanks a lot guys thanks for checking this video out